Here we go. Here we go. Gotta suck the gut in. Tag sales. <laughs> Hello. Those are cute. All right, you're the lead. I follow. Look at that. Look at those. Yeah. This is from a Wii. Sorry. <laughs> Here, I'll put it with the other ones. <laughs> You're an organizer since yeah, when? Oh, I like to organize. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cray cray out here, huh? Look at that. Yeah, I know. I like those sets. I saw one of these yesterday, too. That's so funny. Do you need another step stool? <laughs> you need another step stool? No. <laughs> I don't know. He's a funny guy, isn't he? If you see anything for the baby. You like this? No, what is it? It's a little toy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you may not find it. I'll put it right there. Okay, well. <laughs> I love those things too. Interesting. What is going on guys? Patrick here. So that was a little bit different way to start our video this week. Um, my wife and I found a moving sale. So we decided to go that before we headed out to the savers and uh, any other thrift stores today. So pretty fun. I uh, still managed to get to the savers right as it was opening. And as usual, I headed directly to the back. There were a couple people already looking at the electronics, which gave me a little bit of FOMO, but luckily, this happened. Mm -hmm. oh, look at this. What is happening right now? And a Sony VCR. So as you can see, already my cart is starting to get a little bit full with some good electronics, right? There was a Sony VHS player, there was that Magnavox DVD VHS player, and then there was that other VCR that was at the beginning, and now I'm pulling out an equalizer. So like doing pretty good so far. The cart's going to get just more and more full today, I hope. Um, you can see over here, most of the shelves are kind of filled with normal stuff. Good morning. How are you? Going that way, of course. <laughs> I would love it. I will buy it. I have extra cords, if you know. That's kind of his business. You got to have extras, so. 
Yeah, man. So that was nice. Nice surprise there. Um, right. I, I didn't expect him to ask me if I wanted to buy something, but it's happened a couple times now. It really just shows like making friends with people and being kind to people can pay off in unexpected ways. I think it was about two weeks ago. He brought me out a, uh, a Wii system and now he's bringing out, going to bring me out an Xbox 360, which spoiler alert, I am going to end up buying. Uh, ended up having no cords, no, uh, no controllers either, but uh, still a pretty good deal. Honestly, uh, you guys can see here these, this part of the shelves pretty empty. These, these shelves over here usually have like tools and toolboxes and totes and stuff. And I've been taking a look here a little bit more often recently. They've been some interesting things to look at, but I haven't actually found anything too interesting. Those were scrub brushes and there was a whole bunch of them. So I circled back around and you guys know I found that Billy Blanks thing over here last week. So now, of course, I'm going to continue to check it <laughs> probably every time I come in here. Um, haven't found too, too much here in the past, but you never know. I'll probably do. It'll probably be a hot thing in my mind for a couple weeks and then I will uh, start to take more of a cursory glance. I have seen in few a few areas of the country some folks picking up some just amazing bags, and mostly what I've seen here has been Targus laptop bags. So nothing too amazing, honestly. All right, so headed over to the toy section. Uh, it looks like these pegs are just filled with stuff. Uh, over to the left, all cars again, and then there's there's a bunch of plush in a bunch in a lot of these bags and then looking here in the middle i'm seeing a ton of legos again it looked like they had gotten this really large um like big couple totes full of legos and they parted them out into small bags for about six bucks each just not really what i'm interested in picking up uh, you can see this is more of the section that i like to focus on which is like action figures that kind of thing and it is a little bit more bare right so the, even though these pegs are just filled with stuff i would have called it like a bunch of shelf filler what's really interesting to me is down there at the bottom there's the like halo transformer that i saw the week before that i thought was pretty interesting i i didn't end up buying him i couldn't find any comps on him he was still pretty cool though but he was still here too uh heading over to the the larger toys uh lots of you can see lots of like little little kid stuff i'm sure that there's got to be something in here that i'm missing um, I keep hearing in other people's videos, like that they're getting comments. Oh, you didn't, you should have bought this. That that was X, Y, and Z. And if you guys see anything in here, please leave me a comment down below. I'm always looking to learn, looking to what else I can pick up. I'm going to, I've been continuing to study what Amanda and I were looking at, and I'll, I'll show you later on in the video, some things that I may have missed. So I know from an action figure standpoint, you want to pick up small soldiers. They can bring in some huge money. So I grabbed that board game down off the shelf to see if I should pick it up or not. Uh, then I headed up here to the front to the case and you could see immediately there was that um, Game Boy, original Game Boy AC adapter, which they had priced at about $10. And honestly, that's about what it's worth. Uh, if you're looking to add it to your collection, it would have been a nice little pickup, but uh, just not a ton of value there. There was also a couple video games that they had down here in the bottom of the case that were face down. So you couldn't tell what games they were. You could see the prices, though, and I think that's what they were trying to go for, was that they, they were trying to show you, oh, well, these prices aren't that bad. Uh, you, you should buy them. <laughs> but they were nothing interesting. It was like Big Brain Academy. All right, so I headed over here to the media section and to the small electronics, and uh, also taking a look, something caught my eye up there on that top shelf. There's this really interesting-looking snow globe set, uh, even though it's Kirkland, but I was like, it just caught my eye. It was a really nice looking one and it's in the box. Uh, but the allure of the electronics stole me away from there. I ended up pulling down a few things off of the pegs and putting them into the cart. So come back tomorrow and see what I ended up picking up. And we can I can talk through why I may have bought some of this stuff or why I didn't. Uh, you guys have seen me go through these a few different times now, different stores. These, these are actually like pretty bare pegs for what we've seen in the last few weeks. Like norm, there's usually a lot more stuff and there can be. Uh, so, you know, just that kind of where we're at right now, I think. It's just not going to see as much stuff. That, that Kirkland snow globe is just calling my name. I just cannot stop thinking about it while I'm doing this. I can remember that really clearly. But something caught my eye over here. I'm a big, like, 
sci-fi fan. I like Star Wars. I like Star Trek. And I actually do own that set of Pez dispensers from Star Trek The Next Generation. So there I went ahead and looked up the snow globe. I scanned in that the barcode there and looked it up. And um, or maybe I'm doing that now. <laughs> I think I just cut out me opening up my phone there, but made sure to look it up. And um, it ended up looking like it was going to be selling maybe in the $50 range. So into the cart it went. <laughs> Come back tomorrow again, like I was saying, see if I actually bought it or not. So this was one of the days where I actually had a little bit more time to look through savers. So you may see me being a little bit more methodical. I'm looking at the basis of some items, anything that's kind of catching my eye. And honestly, in this figurine section, I don't know a ton about it, but I don't know. It seems to be the thing to do whenever I look at anybody else looking at figurines in on YouTube, they're, they're turning them over and looking at the brand names. And honestly, that's what I've been studying too, is just brand names. All right. So headed back to the bakeware section. Uh, of course, I'm going to be looking for Nordic ware and I've started looking for a few other things. I, I've started doing some research. Uh, so I would know for like a, um, a crock pot looking thing, not a crock pot, but like a, a like bakeware, Le Creuset is a good one to look for. And um, I'm starting to see that maybe Pampered Chef might be a pretty good one to look for. That's interesting. Nordic ware. It's a little rusty. I think it's a mouth. And uh, yeah, so there's the interesting thing is there's a Pampered Chef one right up on top there that I missed. And because I hadn't really studied the brands by when I was in this thrift store, but knowing that what about what it's valued at now, I would have gone, I would have picked it up. I think I probably could sell it for about $25 and depending on what condition it is in, maybe 30, 35. So, right. I'm looking at all of this stuff now, trying to learn this category little by little. And I'm sure you're going to see me picking up some something within the next video or two, just to see if I can learn a little bit more about it. I noticed up on top, there is a Ronco rotisserie right there. Uh, I did look at what model it is. It's the 5,000. Uh, so I checked my little search app. I've got a little like cheat sheet that I've made for those. And uh, it's actually worth about a hundred dollars. So I think they had it priced at like 1999, something like that, which is a little high for those. Cause you don't know if they're going to work. And the problem you guys, I actually already own like two of them and I haven't sold them yet. So I've kind of made myself a rule that I want to look, I want to make sure and try and sell them before these, these manga I saw sitting back here on the shelf. They were interesting, but at $4 each, you're going to be into it for $16. Just no resale value there at that price. Um, then I saw these dark tower books from Stephen King. That's, that's one of his story. This, his series is more of a fantasy than horror. And I, I really enjoyed these series and I know that they're, they've got some resale value, maybe not at $3.99 each, but then what did I see up on the top shelf? The hardcover versions. These, if you can get the, uh, this is, I think number five and number seven. And if you can get numbers like one through four in hardcover, you could be doing pretty well. And then that one's number eight there. It's an unofficial number eight. And I gave myself the little, like, like, hand wave there like this is probably not going to be that good it, but it actually ended up being the most valuable of the three of them i i personally had read it and i didn't really like the story all that much it was it was fine uh, but the rest of the series was was excellent so if you're at all interested in fantasy or stephen king check it out it's pretty cool uh, the first book in the series is the gunslinger which they did make a movie out of a couple of years ago while uh, with matthew mcconaughey and edris elba which was fine I honestly did not even remember that movie until I literally was just talking to you guys about it just now. <laughs> uh, so headed uh, down to the kids book section here, right? You guys have seen me look for some Harry Potters here in the past. Uh, don't usually pull too much out of the section, but it's always good to look. There is a Harry Potter paperback there. Not going to pick it up for the, the prices here. For the paperbacks, I usually don't want to pay more than about 25 or 50 cents for them. Uh, the hard part there is if you're trying to put the series together, it's going to be really difficult to get numbers, number six and seven. I've found six a couple times, but seven, I think I've only actually found once. All right. So now I'm looking at the lamps, right? Because last, last week when I was looking with Amanda, she was looking at the lamps with me. And so I immediately went back and I found that really interesting lamp there. But once I turned it around, I saw that it, it had at least a couple chips on it. Just wasn't interested at, at that, 
the because of those. All right, so that was it for the savers. We headed, this is the, the Goodwill in Avon, Connecticut, which I've done pretty well at the past. A couple of weeks ago, I found an overhead projector here that was that was pretty cool. And uh, so headed directly back to the electronic section. And it looks like these shelves are pretty full, but nothing was really catching my eye. I'm gonna watch with you guys and see if anything is popping out. But even even watching it right now, it looks like there's just a lot of filler you're seeing i'm seeing a lot of printers i'm seeing uh coffee makers right there's there's a hair dryer <laughs> just kind of the normal stuff you find in thrift stores where there may be some value in a few of these things but just not really in my niche so probably some areas that i could expand into there's a crock pot there right who knows what the resale value is on that one i've never looked and it's really heavy but <laughs> what's this the ones. This is nice. I don't see any rust. How much is it? $50. So, $50 for an untested, unknown slide projector. That is, honestly, it's probably would sell for like 90 to 100 So, it's not a terrible price. But, I'm not interested in it at $50. That is a lot of money up front, right? We're in this game for reselling. We're in it to uh, to try and make some profit. And, right, I'm not going to probably be interested in more than about 5 or $10 for something like that. Maybe 20 if I know it works. Uh, and it was in great shape. And honestly, in the case, it may actually fetch a little bit more value. But honestly, right, $50 just made it turned my stomach. I felt just sour after looking at it. I was just really unhappy and just, it just kind of ruined the rest of my trip to this Goodwill, which is kind of ridiculous, right? It's almost like playing golf, you guys, right? You got to, if you have that bad shot, you got to just pick up your ball and just go to the next hole, not even worry about it. Just move on and just start over. Like let it flush it and forget it basically is what I used to say. So, I ended up not picking up anything from this Goodwill. There were a couple interesting things to look up, uh, but I ended up just nothing really caught my eye after that slide projector. And honestly, there was I looked up a few of the things. I, right, I was I made sure to the, do what I was just saying. I flushed it, forget it. Uh, but honestly, just did not find a lot. So with that, we're gonna we're gonna call it here for the day. Uh, remember to give me a give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you're interested in more content like this, please do subscribe to my channel. Once again, my name is Patrick, and thank you very much.